Thanks for tuning in to Indian Trace. As many of you know, this is a piece I found at Saponi today. That because of experience, and look at this really closely, it's thinned on the whole back side. Where I just want to get some advice about it. <clears throat> but because of experience, the only thing that I found close to it, and it's three inches, have been the, the, the versions of Guilford straight bases and everything, and this is not. Uh, it's made out of sugar quartz, but I wanted to give some some guys out there who really know stuff a close look at it because uh, And I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to show you some things about it and then then hopefully you'll you'll be able to give me a little feedback I'm fairly sure from here down it was hafted and this is all relief And well, I'll pick it up too, but let me just share this with you while the focus is good on this piece up here, around the tip, it's sharp as can be. On the other side here, in a sugar quartz, it's as sharp as can be. And as I pick this up, it is relieved off the bottom. But at the same time, ah, there we go. Down here, it's smooth and ground as can be. And you can see where it was pretty much hafted up to. Incredible piece. It was hafted right up to here. I'm hoping my camera will really work because some of you guys have, have put a shout out about it. And smooth. Now, it's definitely different up here and sharp as can be along the edge until you get to the bottom inch. It's three inches long, you get to the bottom half inch. Because here and here, before you get up to the edge, it's smooth as can be. Smooth is the side of this and underneath it. Hopefully I won't be shaking around too much. It is smooth and ground. Now when I found it, I did not know. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know what it all means. Maybe it does make it older. I could see that a point that looks like this might well be older. Uh, we see the shape in terms of its fluting and what have you with Clovis points. Uh, I'm telling you what, but we're dealing with millenniums here. I can see, though, by the way it's made down here, and I'll flip it over for you. Uh, the edges, if I could give you a close-up, I would. I might try it uh, on the edge without dropping it. Hmm. Hang in there. Okay, as sharp as can be here, and when it gets to about the bottom here, it's, it's like almost a flat edge around the edge. Heavily ground there. And on this side, <clears throat> to give you guys a close-up of this piece, it's, uh, and I haven't really done a video like this, but I haven't found a piece like this. Sharp as can be, and then ground right here. And of course, along the base, it's ground. I'm not, I don't know if I'm picking up a good focus on this. Let's check it out. I'm wondering how focus, how close it can focus. For those of you who are rock heads, you totally know rocks. And on the other side, you can see how this, this piece works out. But I just wanted to make a display video of this from as many angles as I could get with good light going on because uh, I'm betting it's older we always wanted older I mean I, I don't demand anything out of it I love the archaic period but I'm betting it's really early archaic or uh, late paleo <coughs> and here's an angle and the reason why I wonder if it's going to stay like this see the bottom whole portion is ground probably up to here they, they have to be oh well I don't want to take too long but I wanted to give you a real close look with some real good light from every possible angle I can get to and because it's sugar quartz it's probably hard to tell exactly how it's um 
flaked like flint would, but I can certainly tell where they thinned it, then subsequently where they halved it in for a point. Can't we all? Anyway, unique point. I uh, just wanted to do that kind of uh, video so that I can get everybody from Ken to Rob to L to Richard to anybody who can give me some insight on this. Just think it's a sweet piece made out of sugar quartz. Appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace.